I've waited on for five years. And it's just, cra I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Sports Live from Russo Park, where UL Baseball is about to start dancing. I'm Seth Lewis, joined by Megan Glover, and they are dancing in the NCAA tournament later this week. Yes, yeah, Seth, you know I said I was going to dance, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's right, Louisiana punching their ticket as their path on the way to Omaha, and luckily they don't have to go far. Their uh, their first destination is on the way to uh, on the way to College Station, Texas, so not having to cross too far off the state lines. This will be the first time since 2016 that UL has made a regional appearance, landing as the three seed, and they'll take on number two seed TCU. Now the Cajuns have faced the Horn Frogs last season, losing that series two to one. But for them, this is just another team, a new season, and they're thankful to be in the conversation. I mean, it just means so much to me and this team. I mean, everything we've put in for this whole year, it just means so much. Like we've blood, sweat, and tears. Like we put everything into this, and I hope Cajun Nation is proud of us. Getting a regional is a big deal. You know, it's been doing us. Coming up on 27, 28 years, and I've been to 12 of them. I mean, it's, it's, this isn't, uh, it sounds like a good number, but I mean, it's, they're hard to come by. And set the first pitch set for that game between UL and TCU is 7 p.m. this Friday. Yeah, now the host of their regional is Texas A&M, and there are some ties there as UL head coach Matt Diggs was an assistant with the Aggies from 2006 to 2011. Now, Megan, he's been very public about his dismissal from the Aggies at the time he was addicted to alcohol, and that led to his firing. He still has a lot of love, though, for A&M and says the trip back will definitely be emotional. I've been back several times, uh, having been at Sam Houston State, uh, and Rob was still at A&M, and we would play each other. Uh, it's it's uh, it's different, you know. There's uh, it's emotional. Uh, there was a lot of brokenness for us there, but we're not broken no more.